Oh boy, yo yo, man, this is uh, some big news right here that just got leaked. Oh man, you already know this is one of my most anticipated games for next year, and I cannot wait to get into this topic, man. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Ryan here, the professional. Welcome. Let's go ahead and get into these uh, <laughs> this news, man. This is some pretty major news. So I'll start with this one. Spider-Man PS4 team adds former director of Rise of the Tomb Raider and Infinite Warfare. Um, the guy they're adding, his name is Brian Horton. Now, um, you know, before somebody jumps out their seat and says, this guy is creating the game, no, no. He's uh, basically, he's in charge of set pieces from what I can gather. I think he's going to be in charge of the set pieces. So I'm expecting a lot of cool stuff in that regard, and he's going to make it look all extra cinematic if, as he can. So, hey, you know, that's going to be good, man. It's good to see Spider-Man's getting more and more help as the game progresses into development. So I'm looking forward to that. I really am looking forward to what else they got to offer the uh, Spider-Man game as we move on. So that's good to see, man. It's good to see. Um, you know, I'm gonna have a little faith in dude. I'm gonna have a little faith in him. You know, even though he's from, he's worked on the Call of Duty game. Still, he's he's got talent. You know what I'm saying? He's got talent. So let's see uh, see what he can do for the Spider-Man franchise. Moving on. Okay, Miles Morales' role in Spider-Man to be bigger than planned. Animations will be a lot more varied. So if I go down, I read the quote that they said of his uh, actual role. Let's read what he says. Okay. Miles didn't start out uh, with a big as a, a big of a role as he has now, but as we started doing more research on the character, I went back and just started uh, ring it, reading more and more and more. I'll be honest, I just fell in love with the character. Just like MJ can provide a different perspective on the world, I thought Miles and his relationship with Peter bring something different. Miles is younger than Peter, and what they experience and how they get into each other's lives is pretty unique. I said off the bat that we wanted to make a unique Spider-Man universe, one that obviously takes cues from the comics and movies, but also does something unique and different. I'm pretty excited about him and where he uh, take, oh, okay, and where are we take him, I'm sorry. It's going to be something that's going to be a surprise. Okay, okay, good. Um, now with that being said right there, I'm gonna stop right there. Is he a playable character? You know what I'm saying? For what they're looking like, they're telling us it looks like he's a playable character. So, if he's a playable character, does that mean we get to play as two Spider-Mans? Remember, Miles Morales is Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? At a certain date. But then again, maybe he's not going to be Spider-Man in this. Maybe he'll just be like an onlooker in the uh, world. You know what I'm saying? Maybe your job as Miles Morales would be to like, you know... You know, let's say you're building a portfolio of, like, pictures or something like that for your room. And you're, like, you know, decorating stuff. Kind of like, um, not not crazy, like, you know, like that dude. Uh, not, not like not like Jamie Foxx's character from the movie uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, when he had, like, everything Spider-Man right now. Nothing like that. But let's say you take pictures, right? And, like, you're basically being inspired by him. And then eventually you become Spider-Man or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They did put a big emphasis on that with uh, Miles taking a picture of the plane, or well, not plane, but the helicopter that was uh, strung up in the air across the building. So, I don't know. That could play a factor in the game for Miles Morales. I'm not sure. Would they actually have two Spider-Men? That'd be cool. I mean, that'd be cool because you'll have two different perspectives of Spider-Man. For example, let's say Peter is all the way, you know, far away where, from a certain uh, disaster. And let's say his fire sense went off, but he knows for a fact he can't reach it. And let's say Miles is right around the corner from that. That'd be cool. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, Miles had, like, a prototype suit? Kind of like um, Spider-Man Homecoming, you know, that homemade suit where he just had, like, a hoodie and, like, some goggles on? That'd be cool if you had something like that. And he just went into, and sprung into action, and he saved the day. And basically, Spider-Man takes the um, the credit for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Without realizing that he didn't do such a thing. Or, well, he'll realize that he didn't do that, but other people w wouldn't know that was him or not. And, you know, you'll have a little bit of conflict going, holy crap. There's two Spider-Men. That'd be cool. That'd be cool to see. So that's where I'm going to go with that. Uh, two of the things we've been working on are the sense of speed and adding a lot more variety to our animations. So you'll see more of a classic poses than you've seen from the comics, but also uh, just a lot more flair and sense of style. This is, con this is a concrete jungle gym that he is flying through we obviously want a level of accessibility but then also some skill in it since this is a spider-man eight years later there's a sense of experience with peter doing this there should be a sense of expression in his movement and that's something we keep adding on uh, you didn't know there's a skill tree in the game so yes there is a skill tree for the web um you know for the web swinging with spider-man they also even announced that with the whole uh, gameplay that we got at E3 where um, they basically give you a cue because they actually explained this to you in an in interview 
Um, you guys remember that scene when she was saying uh, Yuri was telling Sp uh, Peter to hurry up, to, like, could you Superman a little or superhero a little faster? And he goes, I'm working on it, Yuri. Uh, there's actually a level of mastery. So, yes, there are levels of mastery in the web swing and how you get around the city. So, there's a lot more going on with this game. A lot more. And that's good to see. Good to see. Good to see they have levels of mastery. Good to see that they're actually, you know, putting more uh, emphasis on the movements. You notice that he does contortions and stuff like that when he's, like, going through, like, broken uh, signs. And all that. So, that's good to see, man. Definitely. The parkour looks good. So, the game is definitely coming along very well. But, again, could we possibly have a scenario that I just explained with Miles Morales? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree? you guys disagree? Comment below. Let me know. And above all, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right? Deuces.